Hello, I'm out and about today at Ryap Pumping Station. Come down here for the classic vehicle show. Unfortunately, the weather is absolutely dreadful today. Um, it's been tipping down with rain all week. Everywhere's waterlogged. Today it's pouring down. I'm hiding under an umbrella here. And I confess I've come in my van. I've not come in my bike. Uh, there's not many cars here and there's only a couple of bikes, but I'm having a little look around Because uh, there are some nice cars here and go wander down and have a look at the bikes But I think I'm mainly going to go inside and have a look at the pumping station because they've got the steam pump fired up today That's interesting. I'm sure I should know what film it's from Well, the only bikes that have turned up today are the uh, few lads from the local BSA owners club. They're a hardy lot, these uh, BSA riders, you know, very tough. Um, the only ones that are coming out in this kind of weather. i going to take my hat off to them. Yeah, um, nice bikes, these. I know these lads really get out and about on the BSAs. These are certainly not garage queens. These bikes, as you can see, they're, they're, they're very well used. Um, go <laughs> over the place. Lovely, eh? Anyway, this is the pumping station. Going to have a look inside. But first I'll find my friend uh, Daniel, because he knows all about it. So I just uh, uh, here with my friend Daniel and he's quite knowledgeable about this place so I thought uh, rather than me trying to stumble through explaining about it I'll um, I'll let him explain. No, let me do it instead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, anyway here we are at Raya Pumping Station on a very very wet October day which is such a shame but never mind. Anyway Raya Pumping Station it was opened so I built between 1866 and 1870 and was still in use until 1967. It was only taken out of service because they built Derwent Reservoir I believe and it's still doing the job was designed to all these years later which is obviously a credit to Victorian engineers they built things to last a bit when our W Hawthorne installed this I bet they didn't expect well over 150 years later it would uh, still be working without any any problems uh, definitely a place I recommend coming to if you're interested in industrial uh, archaeology it's fascinating fascinating to watch even if you're not interested still worth definitely worth coming Particularly on a day when it's uh, working. So wait, when's it usually working then, Daniel? The steaming on a handful of times throughout the year between sort of Easter and October, Easter Sunday when they have the vintage, the other vintage vehicle show on, uh, is worth coming to. And this last Sunday in October, August Bank Holiday Sunday, the Heritage Open Days in September, and I believe a couple of other days a year. Best thing is just to check the internet when it's, it's open every Sunday, but if you want to see it in Steam, check when it's running. You and uh, G Gordon was saying earlier that this is the largest working steam engine in the world still, because it's a beam engine, isn't yes, it? Yes, I, yeah. I believe it's still the largest existing working one. There's a, there's a couple of others, I believe, in this country, uh, one in Leicester and one in Surrey. I'm not sure if they're operational or not. Again, this, this one only survived because the uh, chimney wasn't knocked down. I think uh, when it was taken out of service, there was a, a group who got together in... Uh, sort of the friendly persuasion with the water board to try and uh, yeah. preserve it to keep it going for future generations which well is I'm nice. glad they did it's wonderful isn't it that it's, and, and that it still works you know and to be able to see it running today is fantastic bit of compensation for uh, the, the wet weather oh, spoiling yeah, the, uh, the car and bike show isn't it it yeah. is I mean definitely like I say the weather's put pay to it I mean you can still enjoy yourself inside it's definitely the uh, the warmest place to be yeah definitely yeah well thanks a lot Dan that's that's great cheers no Right, I'll show you around the pumping station. I'm not going to keep talking over it, just want you to be able to enjoy the magnificence of this Victorian engineering.
the thing that strikes me about this place is just how smooth and quiet this engine is. It's absolutely fantastic. Having a bit of a Fred Dimmer moment here. a man-sized set of spanners if ever I saw them These beams are absolutely huge. It's amazing to think that they were cast as one piece and then they were hoisted up into place in this in this building. Absolutely incredible. This is a wonderful place. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the Riot Pumping Station Beam Steam Engine. Uh, it's a real privilege to see this thing steamed up and in operation. And as Daniel said earlier, I think it's the, uh, the largest um, beam engine that's still on the go. So, certainly a bit different today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.